Oh, the wonderful world of Amazon. Since launching our brand in 2019, we have sold over $1 million in products, earned over 1 million credit card points, grown a social media account to 10,000 followers, launched our own website, traveled the world, quit jobs, and finally escaped the rat race. Our grandparents never had the opportunity that we have today to build a business with this type of potential. Amazon is a money-making machine. Chances are you've seen some of the crazy statistics about selling on Amazon. According to Jungle Scout surveys, 85% of Amazon sellers are profitable. More than eight out of 10 people selling products on Amazon are making money. That's absolutely insane. The sheer vastness of Amazon makes it one of the best business models in human existence. 2019 data shows that over 140,000 people earn at least $100,000 per year from their Amazon business. And it's estimated that over 40,000 people earn over $1 million. That shouldn't come as a surprise seeing that Amazon's annual revenue recently passed $386 billion and 54% of their retail business comes from third-party sellers like us. Amazon sees nearly 3 billion visits per month and has over 300 million customers worldwide. That accounts for 40% of all e-commerce sales in the United States. For reference, the second place company on that list is walmart.com, coming in at just 7%. Amazon is clearly number one on the list of top 10 US e-commerce companies, and if you add up the remaining nine companies' sales, they still don't even come close to Amazon's. Despite what the data shows us about the opportunity that exists on Amazon, it's not as glamorous as people make it seem. There are 2.4 million sellers on Amazon, and that number is growing every single day. Thousands of people flock to the platform every day with hopes of making it big. But sadly, many of those people never will. Of those 2.4 million sellers, only about 6% of them earn that magical six-figure income per year. I'm happy to report that we've joined the 6% Club as six-figure earners on Amazon in just a couple years. However, that didn't come easy. In this video training, I'm going to break down how we did it and reveal the top 10 mistakes that will cause your Amazon private label business to fail. After personally coaching and mentoring dozens of students and studying countless others, I've seen what leads people to success and what causes others to fall short of their goals. Stick around to the end of the video because I've got some special deals, discounts, and free goodies that you can download to help you build your Amazon business. Let's get right into it. Mistake number 10, unrealistic expectations. I hear stories all the time of people falling victim to the Amazon dream. They start an Amazon business, think it's going to change their life overnight or in a matter of weeks. When sales stall or the initial excitement of the brand launch fades, so does the dream. Don't get me wrong, Amazon can be a dream business for you, but I want you to have realistic expectations for what it takes to reach that level. It's going to be difficult. If it were that easy, everyone would be doing it. Everyone would be making six figures. Every seller would be a millionaire. There are going to be tough times, tough challenges, tough days. Just remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. You're not going to make it big with one product or one SKU. 62% of sellers have more than six to 10 products. 13% of sellers have more than 250 products. As of making this video, we have over 40 products. It takes time to build up a portfolio of products and offerings. That's why I preach brand. Discover what brand you want to build and chip away at it month after month, consistently adding new variations and products. It's going to start slow. You'll have to grind to get your first 50 product reviews. You may only have a couple hundred dollars in sales your first month. Your ads may not be performing as well as you'd like. Strap it in, see the long-term vision, and be patient. Mistake number nine, analysis paralysis. The most common message I get on social media is, I don't know what to sell. 66% of sellers admit to feeling stuck at some point in their launch process. 47% of sellers said their top challenge was finding a product to sell. It's a very common concern and a valid one. It's important to pick a good product, but the keyword there is good product. Too many people get caught up looking for the perfect product to sell. One of my go-to responses to people who message me is it's not about finding the perfect product, it's about making the perfect product. You can stare at Jungle Scout data for weeks or even months and become very discouraged with the high competition or low opportunity score numbers on there. Well, I have a secret for you. It's not all about the numbers. If you're only searching for high demand and low competition products on Jungle Scout, guess what? 
you're going to be looking at the exact same products everyone else is. I teach my students in my coaching program how to look beyond the numbers, discover brand ideas and products that most people overlook, which can be a gold mine for you down the road. Don't let the continuous cycle of looking for a perfect product keep you from progressing. At some point, you gotta act. You gotta be willing to take a risk. In the words of Jimmy Carter, go out on a limb. That's where the fruit is. Mistake number eight, lack of appropriate startup budget. I recommend having access to at least five to $10,000 within the first six months of launching your brand on Amazon. You don't need all that on day one, but during the startup process, that budget should be able to get your product off the ground with some sauce left over for marketing. Another common message I get from people looks like this. I just lost my job. I have a kid to take care of. My life is falling apart. I have a thousand dollars to invest in myself and be my own boss. I wanna make this work because I gotta pay rent next month. Please do not start this business if you're in that situation. You need to get a job and get paid ASAP. When you've saved up enough and you're in a better place financially, by all means, let's launch your brand. But not having the proper budget will cause your brand to come to a burning, crashing disaster of an ending before you ever get your first sale. I also don't recommend pouring your life savings into this or any business model, honestly. If you're in a this has to work or I'm screwed mode, you're going to hate your life. Ain't nobody got time for that type of stress. Ain't nobody got time for that. The more you can emotionally detach from your investment, the easier it will be to grow your business. Save up your five to $10,000 and go into it thinking, if this business works, it will change my life. But if not, that's okay. I'll get back up, dust my shoulders off and try again. Mistake number seven, poor product development. If you forget everything else I say today, remember this. If your product sucks, you will lose. If your product is awesome, you will win. The end, let's stop the video. Cut it, turn it off. Obviously there's a lot that goes into that, but at the core essence of this business, that's it, good products win. Again, you don't need to find the perfect product to sell. Just make sure whatever you do decide to sell, you do the best you can at making it a great product. Sometimes random people message me in desperation saying they started an Amazon brand, but their product isn't selling. I take one look at their listing and can instantly tell they got their product straight from Alibaba without even a stitch of customization. It's like they scrolled for five minutes and said, yep, this looks good, I'll take a thousand units. One unfortunate person who messaged me asking for help even admitted he didn't even change the brand name. He put the Chinese brand name from the supplier and even posted their photos from Alibaba. Of all my students who have launched products, the ones who sell really well have great products. They differentiated and created a unique and awesome high quality product. Do not settle for average products. Differentiation is key. Heck, it's not only key, it's crucial to your success. Mistake number six, insufficient profit margin. Profit is king. That's the money that goes into your pocket when it's all said and done. It does you no good to spend all this time and money and effort to build a brand if at the end of the day, you don't make any money. A big issue I see with new sellers is not having a sufficient profit margin to grow their business. What a lot of people don't tell you is that you're going to need to spend money on advertising. More on this soon. Yes, you can get a lot of organic sales from Amazon search, but we live in a pay to play world now. And that includes on Amazon. 81% of sellers advertise their products on or off Amazon. If you want to grow your brand, you're going to have to pay for advertising. That advertising cost can quickly eat into your profit margin or completely annihilate it if you have a low profit margin to begin with. Ads are getting more and more expensive. That's the nature of the world we live in. That doesn't mean you can't find success. It just means you gotta play chess when everyone else is playing checkers. What we teach our students is how to leverage high profit margins to give yourself a great chance for success with your advertising campaigns and crush your competition. Mistake number five, taking shortcuts when you know you shouldn't. This is one of the most frustrating parts of watching others start their Amazon businesses. Do not take shortcuts when you know you shouldn't. Shortcuts are the longest path you've ever chosen. I understand you're anxious to get your product launched. You're antsy to write yourself that first paycheck, but I promise you, things that look like shortcuts are actually detours disguised as less work. Don't skip out on your product photography. Don't go buying reviews because you think it will help you rank faster. Many times when I see people taking shortcuts, they know they shouldn't be. Patience is a virtue. Do it the right way and your future self will thank you. Mistake number four, not having the proper mindset for the struggle. This business is not easy, but it's worth it. Jungle Scout surveyed sellers and asked them, what are the top factors that make a successful Amazon seller? 44% of sellers said, 
having exceptional drive and ambition. The top answers had nothing to do with being good at marketing at 27% or entering the market early enough to solidify competitiveness at 22%. It's all about mindset. The reason why so many people fail is they simply give up. It's the classic image of the man digging for gold and he turns around just a few feet before he was about to strike it big. Motivation is fleeting. Motivation gets you going, but discipline keeps you growing. Chances are if you're watching this video, it's because something motivated you to take an action. You saw an ad, you saw the lifestyle, you saw success and you wanted it for yourself. This happens to me all the time. I get super motivated by external forces to do something, but that motivation fades. It's only when I develop discipline to keep going that I see results. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. Having a mentor or a coach during this journey can be extremely valuable simply for that alone staying accountable to yourself. When we started our business, we had a good friend who had already built a multi-million dollar brand on Amazon and simple texts from him saying stuff like, you're exactly where I was, keep going, you're going to be successful, really reassured us that we could do it. And look at us now. Hey, look, my Mistake number three not having a proper game plan for growth. I feel bad for a lot of sellers out there who get stuck in other Amazon programs who don't teach the long-term vision of the business. Some programs are all about finding a product to sell, like a generic coat hanger or maybe a tomato basket. Then after someone gets their one product up and selling $500 a month, it's like, well, now what? There was no game plan for growth. You have to go into this thinking about the long-term. How are you going to launch new products? How are they going to fit with your brand? I promise you, if you ever have ambitions to sell your brand for millions of dollars, you can't be selling coat hangers, tomato baskets, and random crap. You need a brand. Think about how you'll expand your product lines. Think about how you'll launch your Shopify store or get into retail stores in the future. This will all take time, but it needs to be on your mind from day one. Having a long-term vision and game plan for growth will not only make it easier to execute that plan, but it will also help you to stay patient. You'll see that this isn't a get rich quick business, but in a couple years, you could be your own boss with 1 million credit card miles traveling and taking naps every day. I love sleeping. Mistake number two, not spending the time or money on marketing. Back to the advertising topic one more time because it's that important. A shocking amount of sellers don't know what they're doing with ads. 42% of sellers said one of their top challenges is managing PPC bids. 62% are concerned about increasing ad costs on Amazon. 56% are concerned about Amazon changing search results to favor paid over organic results. Newsflash, Amazon wants to make money. If you pay them to show your listing first, they make more money. It's the same thing with Google, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You wanna show up at the top, pay for it. The sellers out there who complain about changes in advertising or simply say it's too expensive or too difficult to learn are the ones suffering. Those of us who embrace the challenge of advertising are the ones climbing to the top. We currently spend around $800 per day on Amazon ads, which profitably bring in thousands of sales every month. Learn how to market your product, and more specifically, learn how to run ads on Amazon's native advertising platform. That alone could be the difference between your success and failure. Mistake number one, not having a mentor to show you the way. Having a coach or mentor can drastically change the outcome of your business. I've had many different business coaches over the years and we ourselves had a mentor for our Amazon business. The analogy I like to use for mentorship is like walking through the Amazon jungle with a blindfold on. Can you find your way on your own? Yeah, probably. If you're smart, fit, fearless, there's a good chance you'll stub your toe a few times, maybe trip over a log, smack your head on a branch, or get attacked by an anaconda, but you could do it. A mentor is like having a guide right next to you, holding your hand to guide you through the jungle. Your mentor tells you when to duck, when to step over the log, when to punch a snake in the face. There will still be challenges, but a mentor or coach helps you overcome your challenges, pushes you to move forward, and helps you avoid obstacles and mistakes. According to Jungle Scout, the top factor that sellers say would make them interested in selling again is having more training and education about how to succeed on Amazon. There's a steep learning curve. The rules seem to change frequently. I had just jumped in without really doing research, so I failed, but now I'm looking to try it again. People who've already tried this business and failed realize how difficult it can be to go at it alone. I've personally helped dozens of people get started with their Amazon brands and businesses. What started out as random Skype calls has turned into a fully functioning coaching program designed with the help of former coaching students. This program includes weekly modules to guide you step-by-step -step through the process of creating your brand. 
worksheets to help you stay organized and accurate in your calculations, weekly live Q&A Zoom calls with me where I discuss current events, Amazon news and updates, what's working for us and for students, and I answer your questions, your doubts, your fears and concerns in real time. We have over 100 recorded videos of answers to questions from students in the grind with new videos added every single week. And the best part, unlimited personal access to me for help every step of the way. You're able to submit your worksheets, questions, listings, photos, ideas, numbers, anything else you might need help with to me personally, where I can give you quick email feedback to ensure you're doing things properly. No other program exists with this level of personal access to a mentor who is actively running a million dollar brand on Amazon. Now, I promised you some goodies at the end of this video, so let me hook it up. First, you're going to get my list of 99 product ideas for free. These are 99 products I've personally researched using Jungle Scout and feel could be the foundation for great brands on Amazon. Second, I'm going to drop a massive discount link for you to grab my ebook, zero to $200,000 in sales in our first year selling on Amazon, 67 lessons learned. I normally sell that for $49 on my website. That's yours today for $7. Third, I'm going to drop my special discount my friends over at Jungle Scout have given me for you to get the software tool for up to 50% off. That's five zero. Hang tight though, because I'm going to show you how you can get Jungle Scout for six months for free. Finally, I want to personally see you succeed. I want you to be the next success story. I want to show my friends and family the amazing brand that you built. I want to see photos of you traveling the world, going to Disney World or Cancun, quitting your job and loving what you do every day. Because you spent your valuable time with me today on this training, I'm going to give you a personal special offer for my coaching program. For the next three days, you can save up to 40% on my coaching plans. I've got a month to month option if you only need help for a couple of months or my full six month program, which is how long it normally takes someone to go from zero to launch with their brand new business. And if you decide to commit to the six month program, I'll also throw in six months of Jungle Scout Suite for free. That's an extra $400 in value. You know what, let's sweeten the deal even more. If you join right now on this page, I'll knock off another $300 from the six month plan on top of the 40% off. That offer ends when you close this window. With both my plan options, you get my 67 lessons ebook for free, a 14 day free trial to see what we're all about and personal access to me for your private feedback and help along the way. I want you to feel comfortable joining my program. So if you have any doubts or questions about the program, you can book a free discovery call with my team to discuss more about how our program can help you succeed. We also have many current and former students willing to personally share their experience with you. Let me know if you're interested and I can send you their contact information and you can hear it straight from them. I believe that everyone deserves to live life on their own terms. We live in difficult, tumultuous times, and it's more important now than ever to look after our own families and not rely on others to provide for our financial needs. If you're watching this video, it's because something deep within you is calling you to action. I hope we can work together to make that action happen. I'll see you soon.